Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Houston Sports Talk back in the video today, and Houston Sports are back. The excitement for Houston Sports with the Texans and the Rockets, which, as a Rockets and Texans fans, I can as a Rockets and a Texan fan, I can say, there's not been that in the last three years. You've had excitement for the Astros, but you have, have not had any excitement for the Texans or the Rockets in the last three years. Um, yes, you could maybe have some excitement for the future before in the past three years, whether the Rockets or the Texans, maybe you've had some excitement for the future to come, but there's none, there has not been any current uh, excitement in the last past three seasons for the Houston Rockets to the Houston Texans until now. Uh, the Houston Rockets, who, who only in their past three seasons before the 2023 24 season, in three seasons, only won 59 games. In one single season, in the 2017-18 season, the Rockets won 65. And in three seasons, they were only able to win 59. But now, we are the Houston Rockets are six games into the season. Started off 0-3 to the season. Wasn't looking great. I was still confident because I thought this team was going to take some time to get going and you know build chemistry and for the young guys to learn how to win. Now the Houston Rockets have won three games in a row. They first win was against the Charlotte Hornets. They won by nine, and it gets the win. Each win gets better and better by game goes by. They won by nine against Charlotte. They won by eighteen against the against the Sacramento Kings. And then last night they beat the Sacramento Kings by twenty five. And at one point they were up by forty points in the ball game. I know Sacramento was without their you know best player Darian Fox. You can make that excuse. But Sacramento has no business to be losing that badly, even without Darian Fox. If it was a competitive ball game and Darian Fox was not playing, I would say, okay, yeah, they didn't have Darian Fox, but it wasn't. They were down, they lost by 25. They were down by 40 at one point. The other game, they were down by 20 at one point, and they lost by 18. It, those are not competitive ball games. And, you know, I, I'll go to the Sacramento Kings' previous game. They missed Darren Fox, their best player, for three games. Their previous game, they lost the Golden State Warriors by one point without Fox. There you can say, okay, you know, that loss, you know, it was a competitive ball game. They didn't have Fox. But these games, the Rockets are beating the crap out of them, you know, by 18 and 25 and, you know, even up by 40 at one point in the ball game. I think in the third or fourth quarter. There's no excuses for that uh, from Sacramento Kings fans because I've been seeing it on Twitter and on YouTube. People making excuses for the Kings without Darren Fox. There's no excuses being down 40 points in a ball game. It, the one player is not going to change that. I'm um, sorry. The Rockets are playing good basketball right now, and the Texans are playing good football. Well, the Texans. This, you want to, let's talk about what the Texans just did this week. The Houston Texans. C.J. Stroud uh, just had a monster performance. Thirty for forty-two. 470 passing yards, which is the most ever thrown by a rookie quarterback. Five passing touchdowns and a game-winning drive. The Houston Texans got the ball back uh, down 37 to 33 of 45 seconds remaining at the 25-yard line, needing to go uh, 75 yards without your kicker, Kaimi Fairbairn. And C.J. Stroud, uh, first couple of plays were very short plays at Dalton Schultz. I think the first one was like a 15 or 14-yard throw. Then there was a... Uh, I think the next one was like a three or the next one was like a four yard throw to Dalton Schultz. And then CJ started to get down the field. He threw like a 20 yard or 19 yard pass to Noah Brown. Then he threw a big pass. The Texans were at the 42 yard line. He threw a 27 yard pass to Tank Dell right down the field. And then the next play with 10 seconds remaining, CJ Stroud throws a touchdown right up the middle to Tank Dell to get the Texans the win. Noah Brown looked great. Out of all the top, you look. You can look at the top four receiving guys uh, from Week Nine of the NFL. Uh, you know who led the NFL in receiving yards out of receivers or, or tight ends for that matter too, or added to that list. T- and the top four, three of them are Houston Texans. Number one is C.D. Lamb. He had a great week for the Dallas Cowboys. Number two um, is Noah Brown. Um, and also the funny part about this list is all of them have played for the Dallas Cowboys at some point. We signed Noah Brown from the Cowboys. Uh, number three was uh, number three was Tank Dell, and then number four was Dalton Schultz. All those, or, or wait, Noah it was Noah Brown. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, it wasn't Tank Dell. It was Amari Cooper. 
was a, it, it, the Texans only had two guys in that list. It was four. It was four guys. Uh, it was CD CD Lamb, CD Lamb, No Brown, Amari Cooper, and Dalton Schultz, and all those guys that played for the Cowboys. And I think right next to them is Tank Dell um, in that list at number five. Um, so the Texans had three guys on their roster in the top five receiving yards throughout the week. So it's just a great week for this Houston Texans team, and it's not like this was just one game for them. They're playing great football in general. They're four and four. Like I said, the Rockets have won fifty nine games in the past three seasons. The Texans in, the, in their past three seasons before this season have won a total of uh, only eleven games. Uh, they're playing great football, and I'll, I'll say this right now: Texans are four and four right now, um, and I, I don't believe this will happen. But even though I don't believe it will happen, I'm still going to say it. I think, I really do think, there's a decent chance the Texans could get 11 wins this season. Um, I really only see a couple, after what I saw from the Texans on Sunday, I really only see a couple losing games in the rest of the schedule for the Texans. This upcoming Sunday against the Bengals, although I could see the Texans getting a win. Maybe Jacksonville at home, but the Texans have owned Trevor Lawrence. Uh, The Jets could be hard. But besides that, that's really it throughout the schedule for the Texans. I mean, you have the Colts, um, you have the Titans twice, uh, and I think there's a couple other there's a couple other games throughout the schedule. I don't think the Texans get 11 wins, but I just wanted to say I thought there was a chance they can get 11 wins. Be and I think we also play the Broncos as well. Um, I, I think there is a chance we could get 11 wins. The only reason I said that was because that's what we've got in the last. Um, 11, that's what we've got in the past three seasons. As for the Rockets, there's no chance they get 59 wins uh, or close to that. I think the Rockets are, even though the Rockets are showing progressive things, Al Prince and Goon, Dylan Brooks, and Jalen Green are all playing great basketball, and Jabari and Fred are even looking pretty good, and Jay Sean Tate as well for the Rockets. Those six guys are playing really good basketball for the Rockets, and they're also playing without Tari Eason, Anamin, and Thompson. Uh, I still don't think there's any chance for the Rockets to get 59 wins this season. I think any everybody can honestly answer that to the truth, with, truth uh, that no one really thought the Rockets would get 59 wins. At the most, I think the Rockets probably get 43 wins or 44. The least, I think the Rockets get 35. So I think the Rockets' win total this season will be 35 to 45. For the Texans, um, I think their win total will be um, in the area of 9 or I'm going to go with the, their win total being in the area of 8-10 to 10 for, the, for the Texans this season. Um, so like I said, both of these teams are, you know, you're, you're really happy, as a, as a Texans and a Rockets fan, I'm really happy with the mindset of both of these teams right now. And then you, you got the Astros as well, if you're an Astros fan. I mean, the Astros, even though they this tough loss in the ALCS in Game 7, this team's still going to be, uh, a really good team next year in 2024 season. They're going to be a top team, and um, there's you can't really look at a Houston sports team right now, the Texans, the Rockets, or the Astros, and say I'm not feeling good about this team's future. Um, as you know, honestly, I know the Astros took a bad loss, but um, they still have a great future as well. They still have a good team, and so they're going to be having a new manager. They have some money to spend in free agency. So Houston sports are back. That's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoy them. Our thoughts and peace out.